Hey guys, and welcome to Cry Plays a Bird Story, made by Freebird Games. Freebird Games is the people behind To The Moon, which is one of my most favorite RPG Maker games of all time, so I've been looking forward to really anything by him, because Ken's a really talented guy all around. So, let's see what he's been working on all this time. God, I'm an Yume Neki with braid. And I'm moonwalking. Okay. Where are we going in Dreamland now? I'll get in a paper airplane. It's cool. That's how it's supposed to be, you know, going backwards through dreams. Yeah. They aren't supposed to make any sense yet. Hey, me.
is a jerk. Teacher, I didn't do it, so I'm just gonna break free. Beat up that kid if you have to beat up somebody. Oh! Bye. Uh. Bye. I'm the best student. No students are better than me. Why are there trees inside? What has happened to my school? Oh dear, the lockers are tree trunks. It's okay, we're in the playground now. <gasps> Seesaws. Paper plane, go on the other side. Almost. I guess it's not enough weight for it. Any, can I go on the slide? Probably not. I can go through them and cause them to warp out of reality. I can't go on the slide either. Okay. Can I go hide in the trash can from the teacher? Negative. Am I running away from school? No, I'm just going into the extended playground. This is where the older kids go and smoke cigarettes and eat Laffy Taffy without their moms worrying about cavities. Yeah. That's exactly what's going on right now. I did go home. Oh, school's over. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. I live in an apartment complex. Hello. I'll be going up. Did you see that guy? I don't need you to press the button. Alright, have a good time, creep. God, I hate my neighbors. This one? Oh. Uh, this one? Okay. Okay, I need to go find my house now. What? Why do we have rats? We have the worst apartment. It's okay, we'll just go in here and we'll put on some candles or something. Okay, I know this is breaking the whole scheme of things, but I told Ken to put a blender in the game and he did. I'm really happy right now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Little shiny lamp here. Good. I'll just find everything shiny, turn on all the lights. Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> You're a cute little shit. I like you. Uh, okay. Alright, is there anything else shiny in here? No? Okay. Huh? 
Gotta go make some porridge. Also, if those are all notes written by your parents, I'm sorry. I guess they're not around that much. So, gotta go do homework. Okay, no watching show tunes and eating porridge. I don't even know why I'm saying it's porridge. It was probably just white rice. Shot. Well, they're not around a lot, but they still love you, so there's that. You're also pretty tired, so you should probably get some oatmeal. Or go to school. Oh, right, that's kind of important. I went to school in town without my stuff. I didn't get anything done that day. Okay, now we're good. Just like slap yourself in the cheeks a little bit, just wake up. Oh, right. Books. Sorry. That's a beautiful drawing. You probably shouldn't show the other kids in class, otherwise they'll pick on you, but you should still embrace what you got privately. Heck yeah! Sleepy muffins. Sleepy Zelda muffins. <laughs> Bring the umbrella. No, oh, what are you doing? You're gonna get wet. Get the umbrella. Get it before going outside. Cause, god darn it. You're a silly kid. It's red light, hold on. Good job, kid. Oh boy, we're gonna get so drenched today. Hey, butt face.
Well, it's safe to say we are not the teacher's pet. We are far from it. We are more of the teacher's very unloved neighbor dog. It's raining outside. I told you you should have brought your umbrella, Squirt. This is what happens. All these kids are waiting under the tree because they don't want to get wet either. We gotta go do it though. We gotta go get wet. Because our parents aren't coming to get us. Oh. You like this. You like this. You know what? I like you. Embrace what you got. Embrace the fact that you like jumping around in puddles and getting mud everywhere. That's cool. You can just take a bath when you get home. Just don't, you know, stay cold and wet. Otherwise, you'll get, you know, cold and wet. You get me, man. That looks like Florida in the puddle. A little bit. I don't know. Jump in the puddles. Well, nature's moving around for us, so... Badgers! And bird! You are one ballsy little cat. don't think he's able to fly. I think his wing might be a bit broken. Also, I have no idea how you suck up to a badger that is literally your size. Okay, we'll leave. We'll just go. Is that okay with you? Okay. God darn it! Kids at school get a lot of this. Also, that tree reminds. Okay, listen, I get it. I get it. But you're giving me PTSD of Pan's Labyrinth and all that other stuff that has labyrinths in it with moving walls and trees. Pan's Labyrinth didn't even have that, it was just the labyrinth. Still, we're going to the vet. is closed today. Can we put the bird in the mailbox? No. Alright, well, these things happen. Sometimes vets are closed, sometimes they're open. This is one of the times where they're definitely not open. Meaning we should go home. 
home would be a great place to take the bird. We can bounce on the bed with him, or her, and make them feel better again, and feed them grits. Oh, sir, I do not have a bird in my backpack. I have graham crackers. Hello, neighbor. State Farm is there. I'm going in again. Don't look towards my general direction, please. <laughs> Dude! Dude, you're cute! Alright, that's my new favorite neighbor. I like him. Oh, goodness. <laughs> How can you say so much, but not- oh god. Bye, neighbor. How can you say so much, but not say a damn word? So amazing to me. God. Okay. That's alright. We got the wall here. Alright. See? We'll be fine. And he'll probably just said order pizza for dinner, which is what you're gonna do. Let's put your book bag down. Or go out here. Can you put your book bag down first? Ah, uh, okay, let's go. Oh, you're trying to let him fly away. Alright, let's see how you do, buddy. Doing good? You all make it? Yeah. Ah, uh, alright, you stay right there. I'm gonna get you a bath. Probably just drinking water, but you can bathe in it too if you want. I could get it from the blender, but nah, that's not usually where those things come from. You put water in the blender. Sink. S sink. The bucket. Sink it. What is this exactly? Is this like a tiny little... Is it a waste bin? Because it's really small. Is it one of those wash basins? Never actually had one, so... I don't know. Here you go, bird. you poncho. You wait right there. I'm gonna go get you some grits. Not even grits. Ah, being a pet owner is a big responsibility. My mom is gonna be so proud. Or dad. Or both. I usually relate to the whole single mom thing. That's usually where my upbringing comes from, so... I'm gonna imagine it's just one mom. Even though there's two pillows on the bed. There. Oh no. Oh hi.
You little scamp, you. Here. Oh, have some bread. A little smaller pieces for you. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing? Are you insane? You are not Mary Poppins! You crazy little kid! I bet you love that. Oh, boy. Okay. It, yeah, see? Daredevil in the making right now. All those little paper airplanes I'm making, nah. Those aren't paper airplanes, those are paper me's. I'll meet them coming to the vet again, see if they're open? I am, okay. And the car is there, so I do believe they are indeed open. Thread. You wanted this, right?
Freedom! <laughs> Come on, kid. The vet was just trying to help out. I'm going to play catch with you like you are a dog. Let's go. <laughs> that is the wrong way. You're supposed to come towards me with my stuff. <laughs> come here, you little shit. This is... this is home, right? Yeah. What are you doing, little buddy? Thank you. Yeah, let's watch Discovery Channel. God, we're splash racing. Okay. You got it. I'm gonna cheat. We're just gonna go back and forth. Yep. I'll beat you, little bird. Ha! <laughs> this is fucking adorable. Oh, now you get a cold. Alright, we're gonna play catch again. Bring it to me this time. Add a bird. God darn it. No! <laughs> what are you doing? It's a plate, not a boat! I, my show and tell is running away. Miss Myers, I'm going. Goodbye. Ice cream. Bird, I got his ice cream here. <laughs> you are not duck. No! No! Bird! Bird! Okay. Thank you, car. Sorry. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. Are we gonna play Seesaw? I don't think you're heavy enough, but we could do this. Hop on. Don't touch my bird.
right, we'll get it right this time. There you go. There we go. Good job, little guy. Hello, I'm here to buy Slim Jims and bread. I see you have loaves of bread not even packaged. The perfect kind. Alright, well, do you want some money for this, or...? Alright, cool. I'll be leaving then. Thank you for actually giving me a bag for this. Am I following myself? Who am I following? That is me. I think. Yes. Okay, that is me. Without groceries. Oh, this is where I found the bird.
Come with me, little buddy. Go on a magical journey. And I'm getting deja vu from a mirror light. I don't know if that's intentional, but damn, is it working. You know, you have a family and friends that are looking for you. I don't know if you realize that. Still. Oh, we're going to find them. That's what we're. Oh. Okay. We'll go find him right now, little guy. Totally find him. I don't think they're here, but we'll try it out. They don't even speak your bird language. Eh, it happens. Language barriers are a thing. The worst kind of thing. By the way, Bird, I don't know if you realize this, but... Well... It kinda looks like we're in space. Well... It's okay, we got two more to go to. Two more in the vast universe. So unless you're from a whole other galaxy, I think we'll find it. Sorry to disturb you and your beautiful waterfall on the floating island. You birds have a good day. We got bird friends and family to go find. They've probably been waiting for you to bring bread home for a long time now. Is this it? Not it. Sorry for disturbing you, Bert. Hmm. Where would they be then? We'll find them, don't worry. Is that the vent? Um... My veterinarian. Okay, kid, we gotta run. The veterinarian really wants the bird. I really needed your help here. I'm gonna go hide in my room that's hidden in the forest. Uh, 
Okay. Bird, are you out here being a bird? Had a bird. All right. I'll be going then. I got school and all that other nonsense. You know, being a bird, I don't think you'd understand, but if you ever, you know, be reincarnated as a person, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Prob probably, yeah. Where is... Oh. Okay. Bye. S veterinarian and Miss Myers want me. Okay. Are you seriously about- You're seriously about to do this. Okay, little guy. So it seems like you're not healing and we might need to go back to the veterinarian. I know, I know. We both don't want this, but probably should. when it's raining. No hopping in puddles all the time. So, are we going to class or are we going to the veterinarians? Uh, eh? We're good. Okay. Alright. So, where are we going? Ah. 
It's okay, buddy. You'll be fine. Probably not the best decision you've ever had, little guy, but it's okay. I mean, okay, it's not okay. It's just. Listen, I know you don't want to give up Poncho, but this is kind of a, not a safe thing right now. exactly happened. Ah, oh, there's my back. Just now that that all happened, I have acquired friends at school. I mean, there's good in that, but the, I just want to know if the bird's okay. Because 
I don't know. Can I go up here? be happening. Maybe a little bit optimistic. Maybe he's in the in the little, the tree at home. Maybe he's on the balcony. Yeah. Tim, go, go, go. Yes. 
Yes. Hey there, Mrs. <gasps> All right. Damn charming can. 
And that was a bird story by Freebird Games. As always, amazing work. And I really, really hope you guys enjoy that as much as I did. Because... <laughs> Yeah. And I see that, uh, with this little teaser here, that was the beginning of this, uh, fella's story. And you can see him progressing through life, and once he gets to the end, it doesn't walk forward. You and your little subtle hints there, sir. Way to be a big jerk. <sighs> if you guys liked a, a bird story, please. Please. Let him know. I don't care how you do it, just let him know. Because this is the kind of stuff that I want around for a long, long time. And hopefully you guys do too. Because if you do, then hey, you both have something mutually in common. <sighs> that was charming as hell. Thank you for letting me finally play it, buddy. So, with that said, I hope you guys all have a great day, and if you find a bird that has a hurt wing, then hey, you should probably take two of that. Don't know if you'll have the same results as this kid here, but he might do some good. He might even be able to play a seesaw with somebody, so that's fun. Man. I'm gonna get going now. But you know how it is. Hell yeah, these things always end, so. You'll have a damn fine day. And I'll catch you another time.